Welcome guys to Tekionix, my name is Gaurav and in this video we are going to work on Maxon R sensor. So let's get started. Welcome back guys to another amazing video. In this video, we are going to work with Maxon R EZ0 ultrasonic sensor. These sensors are from Maxbotics. These sensors can detect object from 0 inches to 254 inches. First we have the VCC pin. We can power up this sensor from 3 volts to up to 5 volts. Then we have the ground pin. Then we have the PW pins means pulse width modulation pin and then we have the T-Rex and RX pin for serial communication and then we have the analog pin. I recommend you guys don't use the analog interface on this sensor because the accuracy is much lesser compared to the PWM or the serial communication. So I prefer to use the PWM or the serial interface for the communication. In this video as well, I'm going to use the PWM interface for this sensor. And if you want to explore the analog and the serial communication option in this sensor, then you can check out the article. Link is in the description below. This is the code for the Maxonar sensor using the PWM interface to communicate with the microcontroller. So if you want to use this Maxona sensor without any library, so this code works perfectly fine. But as you can see, this code is quite complex. So we can use another code with a library as you can see here. This is the code with a Sonar library. It is quite easy and simple. But for this, you need to download Sonar EZ0 PW library. Just download this library link from the link in the description below and just paste it right here documents arduino library and just paste this library right here in the library folder of arduino and as you can see here we declare the pin 7 or same as previous code just code it to scale now we've moved to 15 yeah it's looking great let's move a little bit back 20 almost correct As you see, this is working really great. Now, let us add a LCD module to see the output on it. This is the code for Maxona sensor with LCD. Here we include the liquid crystal I2C library for the LCD and the Maxona library. We declare the addresses of the LCD, pin for the Maxona. And here we start the LCD initiate the backlight. And here we are printing on it. So let's just upload the code, connect the Arduino, select the Arduino board and the port and upload it. So hope you guys find this video helpful. If you have any question related to the Maxonar sensor then do let us know in the comment section below. Or you can also check out our detailed vlog on Maxonar sensor on our website. The link is in the description below. Do not forget to like and share the video. 
Also, subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech video. See you next one.